So there's a lot of different therapies out there, especially an interest in immunotherapy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that and what your thoughts are on that? Well, I think there's a whole lot of interest in immunotherapy because it actually can work. And it's, it works in diseases where previously chemotherapies and even targeted agents had very little role. Uh, if you look at melanoma, I mean, it's amazing with, with right. what's happened in the past six, seven years on how we treat them. The important thing to realize, though, the immunotherapy is not the panacea that we thought it was. It doesn't work on everyone. And I think of it almost akin to a, a home run hitter, mm -hmm. right? They're going to go up there swinging hard, and it's going to be either a strikeout or home run. Right. And those that have a home run, they can have really dramatic long-term benefits from that. Those that don't, we need, to f we need to figure out other answers for them. You know, there's still a large proportion of patients where immunotherapy has no activity. How do we augment that? How do we make, catch more of them within that, within that, uh, uh, that response category? But also, uh, we need to continue to have diverse options for them, uh, not just with these kind of global immunotherapy treatments, but also target-based therapeutics, target-based uh, uh, regimens that, that may influence uh, how the body responds to the therapies, but also um, to improve the overall outcomes. And so I think we realize that it's a great leap forward and it has caused an explosion of further research, which is frankly amazing. Right. But we also need to realize that there's a lot more work to do. Great. So.